and I-70 traffic on Floyd Hill moving just great mm. at the moment. Now, we have all, however, spent <laughs> our share of time stuck in traffic heading up to the high country. At, well, CDOT has plans to fix the congestion. A $700 million project is set to start later this month designed to improve mobility and safety. Endeavor 7's Bion Wang takes a look at the project. We do have a lot of traffic. The locals in Idaho Springs will be the first to tell you. The real problem is so many cars. I've been here since 1976. Was traffic even a term back then? Oh heck, we used to shoot the buffalo to get them out of our way and watch out for potholes in I-70. I mean, it was not an issue. Not like it is today. Not like today, no. Well, things have changed. If you head up to the mountains along I-70 on a weekend, you'd be lucky not to be caught in traffic between Evergreen and Idaho Springs, where the freeway is reduced to two lanes in the westbound direction approaching Floyd Hill. Hence, why Kirk Kianka, the I-70 Floyd Hill project director, says construction is needed. Which include the addressing the bottleneck that exists today. The Colorado Department of Transportation holding its first media tour of the project Thursday. We are bringing um, all the curves up to 55 miles an hour. We are addressing sight distance concerns as you go through the canyon and go around the corner. The project will also rebuild bridges with wear and tear, construct a missing two mile section of frontage road, build an extended on ramp from US 6 onto eastbound I 70, and more. As bad as the traffic can get, locals have their suspicions of the project. And unfortunately, building another lane isn't how you fix it. That causes induced demand, which creates more traffic. Uh, it's like buying more beer to quit drinking. Others were concerned about the additional traffic jams that comes with construction. It'll be a nightmare for those years of construction. Here's what Kianka had to say about that. We are committed to keeping all lanes that are here today open during those peak travel times. So any impacts to lanes of traffic, uh, you know, reducing down a lane will be done in those off peak hours, typically overnight hours. But there will be a few days of the week when construction will cause noticeable delays as crews rock blast. During the daytime hours, there'll be a 20 minute traffic hold. After the rock blasting, it could take up to 45 minutes to clear the queue after reopening the road. The project is expected to be completed by 2028. You just better make sure that it's worth it. Hopefully it's for the better. I'm not sure. Bayan Wang, Denver 7.